All right. Let's see. You set this camera here. And um, we're discussing. Oh, we're rolling corn. <laughs> we are rolling hard. <laughs> Where did that come from? You know, they like, remember that was a saying in the early 2000s for like these raver people. Like, rolling, I'm doing, I'm rolling hard. <laughs> remember that? Or. Because yeah. it was a term for... For being an exorcist. Yeah, but you don't hear that term anymore. No. Mainly because <clears throat> kids nowadays, they don't really know real ecstasy. But what about... What is the, what is the, popular, what is the popular thing these days, folks? Um, what are the kids doing? Yeah. It's, Apparently the kids aren't doing a whole lot. Apparently... The millennials? Millennials don't drink or do drugs like we do. They, I heard they're boring, too. Mm -hmm. they're like, they, don't, they don't have hobbies. <clears throat> They're all bleh, you know what I mean? What do they do for fun, man? Other than lecture you on why you should use the word Latinx. Dude, does the, does the millennial interest you or do, do you find anything interesting in watching <clears throat> them? Here's the thing. My little brother is a millennial. Okay. He's like that upper end he's millennial. He's the other end of it. Like he's at the first millennial. Yeah. And <clears throat> frankly, I think... <sighs> Their generation got fucked. But it's on them, dude. It's not my problem. Let me hold it for you. Okay, hold on. I gotta take this us the is mask a here. Oh. Lighter. Oh folks, we're back. This is I'm gonna talk about this cigar afterwards. Oh, but you're talking about millennials. No, I, have I like millennials. <clears throat> I just think they're boring people. I think they need hobbies. I That's, think they need to, like to party a little bit. At I that think age, they need to stop taking themselves so seriously. Uh, what does scare me is the Nazi types. We were smoking here. A throwback. Um... But I want to get back to the millennials afterwards. But this is a Kristoff Maduro. I don't think we've ever smoked this no. Maduro. This is new here. <clears throat> but Kristoff was um, part of the show about a year and a half was ago. Was it the old uh, shed? It was, the old shed? It was the old shed while I was still working with that uh, company. Oh, that place. This right. is, yeah. And, you know, I'm, I was for a while thinking, ah, this is the toyed out, played out kind of cigar. But there's some redeeming factors to this. It's actually, it's kind of like, not my favorite cigar, but it's now it's kind of a nostalgia thing. Yeah. So I, it's kind of like drinking a tea that you don't like, but you like it because it's like a the labella. Like. It's the labella of yeah. the cigar realm. You, you don't... put up with it because of an emotional attachment to that time. And this is the cigar. <laughs> but anyways, there's a show, Corn. Uh, That's uh, the millennials. It's on. Um, I don't know. Do you keep up with cable TV? Like I think TNT I have cable or, TV. I or don't comedy. Watch a whole lot of it. Comedy Central, but it's this half-hour show about these millennials that are the same way. Blah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I watched a couple, two episodes, and it's, it's you know, it's kind of like, like one of those dark comedies. Mm. Do you like any of those? Like Louis C.K. style. It's you funny. Masturbating in front of kids. Yeah. Well, not the Louis C.K., but the show. Because <laughs> yeah. there's a show he was quite... Uh, wasn't he quite the dude? I mean, the show, he was this, like, family guy. And um, no, the comic. I, I, I know where you're coming from, dude. I was being an asshole. Oh, but, you know, what do you think? I don't agree now. But you've seen Louis C.K., though, right? <laughs> well, I love his stuff. Yeah, I like this stuff. I, I think he's hilarious. Yeah, he's hilarious. I mean... Do you think he could I, come I wouldn't back? leave him alone with my kids. <laughs> but it's the thing, though. It's... It, no, you think I mean, he can you have don't a do that kind of shit to people. No, you don't. But, I mean, that's the thing is that... Um, Even if you ask, which is kind of gross, okay? Yeah, but let me ask you a question. You think he'll have a, a comeback? Can I rub one out in front of you? <laughs> At least he asked because in Matt Lauer, he, would, <laughs> he wouldn't would, even do that. The door would automatically lock. Remember that he had automatic door yeah, locks, that's, dude. And it's like he liked that drama. He, the, the woman tries to turn and open, and he said, 
Matt, would you unlock the door? I'm feeling very uncomfortable. That's what you're supposed to say, right? Right. Because <laughs> that's what you... But you know he's staging that drama for himself because he's getting off on Yeah, it. and then he's just sitting back and like, okay, I'll let you out. And it's like, you know, just doing all sorts of wacky shit. I had no idea there was that level of fuckery out there. In the public eye? Well, see, the thing <laughs> is, I'm a guy. Okay? And not only am I, am I a guy, I'm an overeducated, aggressive guy. So even other guys treat me differently, and they act in a different way. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I see exactly so what you're saying. So if I were like a 115-pound girl, I think that they would feel that they could act in certain ways that they wouldn't act around me. Yes. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So but, I had <laughs> always assumed that people behave themselves because, in general, they behave themselves around me. Yes, but that's the thing, though. These people, I mean, okay, they, they have that kind of <laughs> sickery about them. But do you think they could come back? I mean, I mean, like you said, Louis C.K., I mean, of course, the Cosby shit Can is so gross to be accepted. Of course. You, you know what? You're right, because don't remember that whole Billy Graham thing? Hello. We, we still have... have <laughs> was it Billy Graham? No, no. We still Jimmy have Trump. President Trump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he... Let's not get on a high horse about shit. Because he so has So long as the guy at the top of the fucking chain is that clown, we have no place to talk about other people. I mean, sure, we should hold them to... A certain you know, common... A certain uh, common uh, level of decency. Decency. But let's not say that that person's never going to be redeemed because look at the fucking clown we have in charge. And, we, and there's people that love him. Right. That are women. Exactly. That would never condone that kind of sickery. Right. But it's but the commander-in-chief yeah. because it's the no, guy No, no, it's not even the commander-in-chief thing. They have it out for Trump. It's a cult, dude. They, you're talking about the ones that like Trump. Yes. Right? Yes, it's yes. It's a cult. They, they, they... Doesn't matter if this guy was fucking little kids on live TV. They still flock to that shit. Because you know, they always... I've seen this stuff. And I'll get back to this other thing about a Trump interview. I don't know if you've seen that latest one. It's kind of funny with uh, that puppet dog or whatever that... Oh, uh, Triumph. Yeah, Triumph the dog. Mm -hmm. And he was talking to like Trump supporters. I mean... And of course, he's asking real reporter questions. questions. And the thing is, is that... Uh, if he says, what about this, that, and the other about him, you know, talking about some of the bad things Trump has done? Mm -hmm. We're not talking about that. We're talking about this issue that he's really excellent. There's more jobs. They just turn, like, his sickery into turn it around. Like, they just guide you out there. Right, right, right. Because you know, here, I'm going to guide you this way. They're <laughs> selective about what they look at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to guide you this way. We ain't talking about that. There's this over here. It's a good... It's a good thing he gave more jobs. It's like, oh, geez. He didn't create any jobs. Yeah, the coal mines are running. No, yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> These people will believe anything. Oh, and they geez. Do it, so who cares? I'm at the point that I don't give a fuck. I really don't. Just, you know, let me do my thing. Let me raise my kids. Let me have fun. I think in Beyond a certain that, sense, man. it they whoever's in office, it doesn't mean you live your life. It's all fuckery anyway. Whether it was the cool black guy or this jackass, it's all fuckery. Yes. Woo, I'm telling you. I like the smell of that cigar, though. Here, it try doesn't. This. It's actually pretty good. I like it. Yeah, because the other stuff, you know what I think it is, is that I want it stronger and stronger and stronger. And for a while, a long while, since then, this. I haven't smoked lighter cigars like in the beginning of the of the the show. I was smoking these things. Believe it or not, it was and it's the last time I ever smoked them. Was the one with the, the band that had like that really that ornate crest, mm -hmm. uh, like a, or was it a bust of a person? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, that, yeah. It's uh, like a... La Flor de las Santias. La Flor, yeah, it's that wrapper. You all know it if you, see, you smoke cigars. But um, I've been heavier, heavier. But this is really good because it's smooth. The shit I've been doing is just harsh. I don't know, dude. I think my I'm gonna be sad when my sister doesn't go back to Cuba. <laughs> but she will, right? Or is it a regular? I date? don't know, dude. How many times she's been there? She's been there three or four times. But it's I'm talking about the <clears throat> the government and shit. Wait a second. What? What's going on with the government? Well, there's 
more travel restrictions for people that's going right. to Cuba now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I heard about that. The yeah. Trump thing, right? Mm -hmm. But he'll go back. No, you're right. If government things change. Yeah, well, I'm going to take it slow with these Robustos. <laughs> what are you down to? Because it was a box of like 25? Yeah, I got like eight. That's a good number. For especially you have a box of them. Yeah, especially since I don't smoke that often. I smoke when I'm around you. Really. I smoke only when I'm here too. Yeah. This is that's why we. It's nice to do the show too because so get out in okay, over ten and a half minutes. Let's say um, thanks to all the people that are going to school today. <laughs> yeah, change it up a little bit. Going to school today? Yes. Please, don't shoot up any more schools. Oh, my God. That's right. I just remember that. You know, you've had so many gun shootings and massacres on our show. Yeah, I know. It's just... I don't care anymore, either. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you a corner. In this corner right here, I know we got to get more uh -huh. new equipment, hopefully soon. What is this? 3340. Is that what's left as far as memory? Wait, let's see. I think so. Okay. Oh, we'll be right back. No dead air. <laughs> 